Let's go back in time to a point where RGB was not the main producer of these precious FPS we are all hunting for. Meet Arctix Bionics F120 case fans with the most pure form of RGB. Actual freaking color. In this video we'll have a look at another one of Arctic's fans, their Bionics F120s. And there is quite a lot of things to cover here, the color thing, connectivity, performance, noise and a bunch of other stuff. But one thing that I don't have to cover today are versions. This is the F120, period. No PVM, PST, value pack, Molex Molester, World Dominator 3000s. Just an easy model number, F120, perfect. Fortunately, having a bunch of missing SEO keywords does not mean that we are losing any of these features. In the end, Arctic just grouped them all together into a single product. Of course, their Bionics F120 still comes with a 4-pin PVM connection and it still comes with Arctic's PSD daisy chain plug attached at the end. Basically the same thing as an F12 PVM PSD on steroids. On the Bionics thing, if you scroll over Arctic's product page for Bionics fans, you will see a slight overuse of the word gaming. I don't know what a gaming fan is, nor do I know what a gaming case is. Ignoring the marketing buzzwords, Bionics is essentially a gaming-like looking bumped up version of their original F12 or P12 lineup. But instead of spreading more eye cancer, Arctic did not go for RGB, but they went with straight up color. Grey, yellow, green, white, red, basically a whole bunch of different options. And I have to admit, I, I got these with the presumption that they will look year 2000-ish, but hell was I wrong. Sure, the look of things will always be up to you, but I was shocked that these do not look cheap at all. Combined with the right setup, they look awesome. That being said, it's not just color. Instead of solely plastic, Arctic put some rubber in the color of your choice around the screw holes which should help to get some of these vibrations out. Additionally, they put the same type of rubber around the fan wings, but instead of making the blades shorter, they made the frame thinner. Now don't get me wrong, it, it was the right call. Shorter wings will decrease performance, but, <laughs> but now we have a very interesting feature that I call fan handbrake. Good job. Not that the fan is unusably flexible. Once it's installed, it, it doesn't matter anyway, but it's funny that the fan is kind of spring-loaded now. That being said, the most important changes between a regular F12 and a Bionics F120 are the steroids. Jumping from 1350 RPM to a whopping 1800 with 69 CFM at 2.1 mm of H2O, these Bionics F120s are not even trying to compare to Arctic's F12 lineup, but in my opinion they seem to be going for P12s. And this makes sense, as the F20 review concluded, the fans were not very good. And in the end, even if they are pressure focused, it was generally just a better idea to go with P12s than the airflow focused F12s. For Bionics F120s, I can lose the feeling that these are more influenced by P12s than F12s. The static pressure surely is, and the wings are bent a tiny bit more, creating the impression of much longer wings and allowing for air to be pushed a lot harder. Something that usually is reversed for static pressure fans. Anyway, let's see for ourselves. Benchmarks. Using our usual benchmark setup, the Bionics F120s were able to keep the 3700X at 52 degrees C, placing them just a single degree behind Arctic's P12 and somewhat in the center of the whole list. And this placement makes a lot of sense. Number-wise, these fans are very close to P12s and significantly better than F12s. And that's exactly where they landed. Next to the P12 and way ahead of the F12s. Slowly lowering the fan speed did not show any new revelations and the F120s are just keeping their position all across the board. Now onto the really important stuff, noise to performance. Here it doesn't paint the previous picture. Unfortunately for Arctic, these Bionics F120s took the spot as the loudest fans we ever had tested and even while going up with the CPU temperature and down with the noise, the F120s are barely making it into somewhat the center of the list, but never even touching the best third of our fans. Looking at all of these numbers, it's a bit meh. Sure, they completely outperform the F12s, and that's a really good thing, because the F12s were really not good. But I feel like 
these are actually just gamery looking P12s and they weren't really able to outperform those. And this makes it kind of a weirdly placed product without a real purpose. But this really doesn't shock me too much. It's just like the P12 versus F12 comparison. I had the same conclusion. The F12s were not worth it because the P12 exists. And although I did not test the Bionics P120s yet, I have the slight feeling that the conclusion may end up being the same. On the price side, they are usually going for around 10 bucks, but I was able to find them for somewhat around 8 on some random German online store, which makes them very affordable, yes. But I don't want to give any final opinion until I've compared these to the P12s, cause I still have the feeling that the P12s may be way better. But if there is really one thing that Arctic did very well on these, is their confidence in long-term usage. With a 10 year warranty, this is one of the longest warranties I've seen outside of forever. And 10 years just seems like a joke to me. Uh, either it's, it's gonna be weird, like 10 years ago I bought a fan, it broke and I have a new one. Or technology just advanced to such a degree that you don't want the fan anyway, so... On a short side note, cause I kinda forgot it, the fans come in, a, in the usual Arctic style, a carton box containing a fan, a thank you note for screws and of course the iPhone shaped smartphone QR code. And this would usually be the point where I give an end conclusion about the whole fan, but as I said I don't think it's a good idea to sum anything up until I compare these to the P120s. So you can expect the end conclusion within the P120 review once I get them. But in case I already done it at the moment you're watching this, I will put the link like, like here. So at this point I would like to thank Arctic for sending me over these Bionics F120s and I hope you've enjoyed it and until the next one, bye bye.